Hello and thank you for joining me in this new video. Today I will do little speak or little just a little talk about the newest version, the 1.7 of PrestaShop. Well there is some misunderstood with people who believe that the newest version of this 1.7 is a Symfony application. The truth that it's not. Yes, it's using Symfony, yes, it's integrating some component or let's say some parts of PrestaShop are made using Symfony, the 2.8, but so, uh, PrestaShop still, let's say, using the same old uh, coding style. Yeah, Symfony is introduced into the back office for the home page or let's say for the product home page, the product creation page, and the modules page, but the rest of it. It's almost the same 1.6 version. So uh, please stop believing that uh, PrestaShop is a Symfony application because yeah, the vendor, the Symfony vendor is there. Uh, if we just scroll a bit there, so it's there. Where is it? Vendor, vendor. So it's there and with, with a lot of Symfony components, uh, but it's still not a pure symphony so for example if i do uh run some symphony commands like um like uh, okay let's just access the cd app and cd or let's say php console server or uh, server run which is normally in precession or let's say in the symphony application do run a server uh, it will fail because it's missing some some major component so it's not pure Symphony application and the bonus of this video I will show you uh, how to create a theme very fast but very easy so as I so as I said uh, there is an error the given document root directory uh, so it's looking for a web folder that uh, uh, default Symphony application do have but it's not here with uh, this preset shop 1.7 okay now let me just teach you how to create a theme uh, in PrestaShop 1.7, there is um, work it. Let's talk uh, about the theme. It's totally work it. So we are start talking about uh, YML version or uh, YML file, sorry, and uh, the structure do change totally. And how to create a theme isn't or has no relation comparing to the older version of the 1.6. You just go to the back office and uh, create a new theme and just to be a copy of uh, the default bootstrap and you start just playing with it but with this um the, the 1.7 it's totally new so it, it, it's a bit tricky uh, and very easy at the same time so it's simply by going to um the folder theme or the theme folders right here and let's as i said as i did here i created um the, the dude um folder then inside it i created a config file then I have uh, I created a theme.yml file that will contain some configuration for this theme. And if I go to the back of this, uh, okay, it's crashing. It's uh, crashing because um, I just I was just uh, playing it uh, around with it. So what you can do inside this is simply by copying information from this um, uh, from the default theme classic uh, theme.yml. Uh, simply we will add a name. Let's call this the dude and be sure. Um, the dude then we need to add the display name display name okay then let's make it easier just copy this okay this is the key so uh, the name must be the same for other as the folder name so it will be the dude and for the name you just we can just call it whatever so the dude custom theme 1.7 anything you can type 1.7 and the version just uh, type whatever you want and you can just add more information uh, yeah there's a, a let's say tons of customization permits to assign hooks etc but for instance this is enough to have a new theme available on the in the back office when you go to um, uh, improve uh, design then you just uh, select uh, the theme and logo and as you see here we have the new theme the the dude as as we call it and it's ready to just um, use the theme. well it would crash if I use it because it did not contain any files but this is how to let's say uh, create um, a new theme in PrestaShop 1.7 thanks for watching and just a reminder I'm working into um, 
a full series on how to create a theme for the 1.7 and it will be hosted on uh, on Udemy normally okay I know some people are really waiting for this uh, thank you people for your support and for your time and uh, you will be notified soon when the, the series will be ready thank you again and uh, have a nice time